And he told uh, and he said unto them, This is Jesus, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father had put in his own power. They were asking Jesus, now you are living, what will be our story? What will be our destiny? What will be our, our succor? What will be our comfort? When will this time you promise will be? When are you going to return? Jesus now said, it's not given for me to even tell you. The power put it in place, the Father put it in place, and it will be. But while you wait, while you are expecting the day or the time or the season, you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Let me pause in there. The coming of the Holy Ghost, the person or the third person of the Trinity is to give the church power. And we all know that power makes things happen. Sometimes I visited Nigeria and I go to a house and uh, they have a deep freezer. And it so happened that somebody was looking for something, I don't know, maybe a cloth or a bag or something. And they went and opened the freezer and they were looking for the cloth. And I said, ah, what's going on in here? They said, oh, it's a freezer, but it's a storage now. We put stuffs in it because every time we never have power, you know, correctly, but anytime we even have power, the power is not powerful enough to start the freezer. So the freezer that was to freeze something became a storage box. It could not perform the function the manufacturer made it to do. All because there was no power. Such is the church. Such is a believer. Such is a one who has confessed the lordship of Jesus Christ and has not received power you won't be able to do what God sent you to do. You won't be able to fulfill destiny. You will live, but you will live outside your purpose. So Jesus told the church, until you receive power, you will be out of purpose. But you shall receive power by the coming of the Holy Ghost. And then ye shall be what? Witnesses unto me. I want to show myself to the world. I want to announce myself in your workplace. I want to announce myself in your family. They have doubted the Jesus that you have come to. I want to announce myself in your neighborhood. They look at you. You are colored. How did you come here? How, I want to tell them that I am he that is at work in you. That's the reason I'm going to give you power. So that you can be a witness of me. So the Holy Ghost and the power received is not about us. It's about us proving that Jesus is the Lord. Believers, we have power. Brethren, there's power in you. It's, 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 it's time for us to arise. It's time for you to get into the office and they say, somebody is, is, is in pain. I say, bring him over here. It's time for you to see the devil at work in the life of a man or a woman and you perceive it and you know it and you say, no, can I pray with you? Do you want to be delivered? It's time for us to assert the power of God. God is waiting for us to harvest the gifts of the Spirit. It's here. After this message, after the sharing of the body and the blood of you, I want you to be angry at the devil. I want you to take your place as a son. Every one of you. I want you to dare the authority of the name of Jesus. I want you to look at situations that defy solutions. I want you to look at circumstances that is questioning the wisdom of man and say, I got power. The name of Jesus is in me. The blood of Jesus is with me. The body of Christ broken is with me. I got power. I can make a difference. 
Now the Bible made me to realize that there is an origin from heaven. The one that you can take to the bank. It did not fail in the days of the patriarch. It cannot fail now because as Jesus was, so he is. So he will be at the end. So when we partake of the body and we drink of the blood and we receive power, that power is the same power that rose the dead. But sometimes we, we doubt it. We think the power that was in the apostolic church is not here again. And we call God a liar. After this meeting, I'm trusting somebody in anger. You will lay hand upon the same spot. The doctor says they cannot help you. And you will release power. Oh, you arthritis. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The power that is working. as was at work in the apostles. That is there is in me. I speak to you. Bones be made whole. Because you have understood power. You know that you carry it. That is the mystery of the Holy Spirit. That is the place the Holy Spirit wants the church to come to. The place of wielding power and exercising authority. 